Barnett take on Accrington Stanley in the FA Cup this weekend in the second round. I'm joined by Dean Brennan. Dean, how are the preparations going for this tie against League One opposition? Yeah, training's been bright and breezy today. Uh, there's a nice buzz around the air. So, yeah, so it's exciting. Um, the FA Cup brings that dramaticness, it brings that uh, excitement. And uh, this time round, uh, in round two, we, we find ourselves an underdog. Obviously, Accrington, uh, they've had a bit of an up and down season. They f currently find themselves in 19th. They work hard and they've won their last two. How challenging are they going to be for your boys? Yeah, they're well organised, uh, extremely hard walking side, uh, good athleticism, got good ability as well. They've, they're a good side uh, and they're in a challenging division. You know, there's some monster clubs in that division Portsmouth, Sheffield Wednesday, Ipswich, Derby, you know, massive clubs. So, what John and his staff have done up there over previous years is unbelievable, really. For Ackland to be in that division and you know been really really competitive is a, an outstanding job by the manager and, and his team. So we know it's going to be tough. Um, they get on the front foot. They like to play forward. They like to run forward. They run hard um, and they have got ability. So it's going to be a challenging game for us. We saw a fair amount of rotation for the uh, Middlesex Challenge Cup on Tuesday. What's the squad looking like? Any injuries going into this weekend? Now, um, obviously, some of the lads needed the game in the County Cup. Some of them didn't do themselves any justice whatsoever. I have to be honest with that. I thought it was a shambolic performance from them. And they, you know, if they wanted to ask any questions about getting selected in the team, you know, they'll know the answers, which will be no. Um, you know, you've got to run. You've got to run your socks off, and you've got to take it to the opposition every time you put a bayonet short on. And I thought they failed miserably in that. So. Um, at the end of the day, it is what it is. We just move on to this game. And for, for me, um, everybody's fit, really. Uh, Woodsy's the only one because he's suspended. But everybody else that's available to us, that are recently been available to, have been, uh, are available to us. Dom uh, Revan has got through some work this week as well. So he could come into contention. Um, so, yeah, and then obviously we managed to bring Louis Ainsley in as well. It was good for him to play in that game, you know, just to integrate, integrate with the group, get to know some of the lads' names and stuff like that. So that's good. And uh, he's in contention as well to start. Brilliant. Obviously, a lot of games uh, within the last week. How important is that recovery between fixtures? Yeah, it's huge. Uh, it's huge. Um, we've had a, a hectic schedule, but that's where we want to be. We want to be winning games of football, and you know, you deserve that hectic schedule. So it happens. It's, it's the English football, you know, it's English football. It's, uh, it's how the divisions are. So it's what we want, it's what we thrive, and uh, it's exciting, another exciting weekend for us. I must ask you before we go obviously, the FA Cup, oldest association um, football competition in the world. What's your fondest memory of the tournament? <laughs> Loads. Ian Rush scoring two against Everton. I was a Liverpool fan. I still am a Liverpool fan. I've got so many memories. Stephen Gerrard's goal against West Ham late at, at, at the Millennium Stadium. That was an unbelievable goal. Um, there's so many. It's a fantastic competition. It's um, a competition for the underdog. Um, and anybody can beat anyone on that day. So hopefully we can uh, we can do that this weekend. And uh, it'll be tough. There's no there's no there's no doubt about it. But it is the best cup competition in the world, in my opinion. Dean, I wish you the best of luck for this weekend.